how to create product documentation. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can create a product documentation for your software as a service using Document 360. So click the link in the description to get started now. So to get started, first off, we're gonna head on over to Document 360 and Product documentation is a very, very important part of any software as a service because you're often going to have people that have questions and queries, your customers want to know how to operate your software. So building a good product documentation can be super beneficial for your business and Document 360 can really help you do it. So we're going to be uh, building our own product documentation today and there are a couple of features that make a good product documentation. So so just to see like a good example, we have Mambu's product documentation over here. Uh, it's a good example because they have a simple search bar, they have a couple of different categories and sections. So in these categories, you can click on any category and they have multiple different articles within those. So it's simple, easy to navigate, and it's very clean. So that is a, a good example of a product documentation. and. These are some of the key features that you need to have. You need to have a search bar. You need to make sure your categories are easy and comprehensible to your users and they are actually relevant to your users. So to get started, I'm just going to head on over to Document 360 and click on sign up over here. Once you click on sign up, you just have to enter your basic information. So uh, that is it. Uh, I'm just going to enter my basic information and this is my account over here. I have already done that. So just enter your information and your account will be created. Now I have a sample that I'm building. So I'm going to build it step by step. It's currently totally empty. I haven't named it or anything. But we're going to begin by building our uh, product documentation for our software as a service. Now, the software as a service that I have is actually a email marketing software. So uh, it basically enables people to automate their emails and they will be able to, you know, send their emails. So this is our software as a service that we're going to be creating our product documentation for. Depending on your software, you're going to create different categories. Mine are going to be based on a email marketing software. So it's kind of like MailChimp or Sendinblue. It is called... Uh, mail center so that's what i'm going to be creating in my little sample for so currently i'm on the free plan of document 360 and if you take a look at their free plan you have five team accounts and you have a knowledge base version then you have their startup version which allows you to create more uh you know customizable product documentations with unlimited articles now, with the free version, you have 50 articles, then you can upgrade to unlimited articles, but 50 articles is usually more than enough for you to be able to display all of your information, but if you need more, you can get more as well. And you also have custom domains with SSL and custom branding as well. Then in the business version, it starts at 249 where you have integrations, extensions, notification, custom pages, and so much more. And then the enterprise version starts at 499 where you have everything as previously stated with audit login, localization, workflow, ticket deflator, custom email domain, and link analyzers as well. So we're going to begin building our product documentation. So you can see this is going to be your home page in your knowledge base so knowledge base builder so first off you can click on your home page builder to customize and create the appearance of your actual product documentation i'm going to first build the knowledge base that i'm going to build my home page so over here you will be able to see documentation and drive so in your documentation section you're going to first off create your new category this is going to be a folder i like the folder type and then i'm just going to enter the name so for a email marketing software uh, I'm just going to be creating two of the basic uh, product documentations that I need to have, which is uh, my account because often customers or clients that are subscribing to my software need information about how their account is billing, you know, how to manage their account, so on and so forth. It's usually one of the most basic categories. Now, after this category, I'm going to click on new, click on add category. And then I'm going to just click on the second category and create a new category called uh, APIs or integrations and APIs because this is also a category that people have questions about so once I've done that I have created two their distinct categories now for my product documentation I'm going to begin adding articles within this so 
first off I'm just going to click on select the specific category then I'm going to click on add and if you previously have created any kind of articles you can upload those but I'm going to click on add article and you can make this from a template as well if you have you know created a template you can click on copy existing or link existing but I'm going to click on create a new article and my article name is going to be how to upgrade my account I'm going to click on create. This is just an example article. Usually in my my account section, uh, you want to add something like how to sign up. That's like usually a very basic question. So if you want to keep it simple. So how to sign up. Now I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to begin uh, building my product documentation article. So within my article, I want to make sure that I have, you know, a good article because your customers are going to be very, very, uh, you know, needy when they are looking at your knowledge base. So especially with softwares where it's a difficult software to work with, then a good product documentation can really help you in boosting your sales, your recommendations and your overall ratings. And like once you add a word like this, so to begin signing up, click on sign up. So this is what you're going to hyperlink. So you're going to click on insert code block or you can just click on over here and you can uh just go ahead and click on insert link then you're going to click on search and link to existing article or link to existing heading or to url so open a new tab and you're going to click on url and you're going to enter the url of your sign up page so whatever is your sign up page you're going to enter the url of that so let's say i have a wix website and i want to link to the sign up page this is just like a sample, but I'm just going to paste that over here and click on OK. Now, once I've done that, I'm just going to, once I've, you know, uh, added my hyperlink. So this is how it's going to show up. You can see on the right side as a preview of how it's going to show up as your product documentation. So don't worry about it looking, you know, off or it, it you know, looks weird when you're typing it in. You can see a preview as well. So after that, you're going to continue on, you know, adding your uh, article, finishing your article. I'm just going to uh, just leave this sample over here for now. I'm going to finish this later. Now I'm going to go into integrations and API. So this is my second category and I'm going to begin adding my article, which is going to be a new article as well. And this is going to be how to integrate Slack to my emails. So because this is a email marketing software, so I'm just going to type in a basic article over here. So I'm going to change this title because I want it to be a little simpler so it's easier to write. So how to integrate um, or how to create and delete API keys because that's like a basic question. Everyone wants to, you know, integrate things using API. Uh, that's like a more general one that's applicable to more things. And I want my product documentation to be very applicable for my customers. So I'm just typing this out. I've typed out quite a bit. So now I'm going to show you guys how to enter your images. So because with any kind of software, you want to be able to show your customers that you're actually, you know, showing them visually how to get what they need, how to do what they want to do with your software so for that images can be amazing and you're going to click on insert image you can click on upload you can click on choose file go into your docs over here and i'm just going to upload a image click on open over here click on ok now you can see the image has been added so once the image has been added you can customize the height and width from over here in your left side if i enter a specific height and width it's going to be converted to that like so so whatever height and width you want, I'm going to leave it at the original image size. Now, once you've done that, you're going to click on publish, click on yes. And now once I've built my uh, specific knowledge base articles or, you know, my product documentation articles, knowledge base articles, I'm going to click on homepage builder on the top left. And now I'm going to change this into a bit more uh, of a um, relatable one like Mambu has over here. Welcome to our self-service or welcome to our, you know, resources page. And after that, I'm just going to enter a simple line. You can enter more stuff over here if you want. I have a basic search where I like to keep that on top. Then you have knowledge base categories. So you're going to select your categories. My account. I'm going to delete this bottom section. And then the second category, integrations and APIs, I'm going to click on change icon like this. I'm just going to enter a different kind of icon. 
like this so i have some nice icons and i can click on the colors as well if you want to change those you can change the background image over here as well so you can click on header background and click on patterns you can create whatever you want so you can click on insert image and insert an image uh, that is you know relevant to your uh, software as well if you have like a software image you can enter that as well but i'm just going to use a simple pattern over here and click on publish and the best part about using document 360 is that they are a trustable product or knowledge-based system which enables you to really create a efficient working system and they're used by so many different larger brands and it really just helps you in trusting the brand so there are so many different brands using uh, document 360 as their knowledge base such as mcdonald's harvard stackify and these brands are using this very efficient and free to use tool and so can you for your software or even your business so now you can see this is our current little sample i named it sample but if you want to change the name just go back over here click on my profile i'm gonna go back into my guide on the top left and i can click on settings and i can alter the settings and rename my guide as well and i can click on save over here like so and you can change the name and change the appearance later on and if i click on my articles over here so this is my category how to sign up and then my integrations and APIs. This is my simple little integration over here. So you can see our image has been added and it's simple, efficient, and an amazing way for you to build your product documentation. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and click on the link in the description to get started with Document 360. Plus, if you want to build a killer product documentation, make sure to check out their article document 360 also has a article on how you can build your own product documentation for your software so check that out as well and i will catch you guys in the next video